Hi everyone, welcome to an episode of Tuesday Tips with Tabitha. I am Tabitha from the education team. And this week what we're gonna talk about is using the last engage date custom field along with the last engage date automation. It's one of the recipes that we've built for you that lives in everybody's account. So we'll talk about how you can utilize that. What you're gonna need to do to start off with is create a last engage date date-based custom field. So we'll go through our manage field section and we'll add the field as needed. We can title it last engage date and we wanna make sure that it's a date based custom field. Once we add that, we'll see that it lives here at the bottom of all of our custom fields. We can then go to our automations and we'll create an automation. And like I said, we'll be using a recipe. So we can actually just search for last engage date You'll see that there's a couple of them, but today just to really start out utilizing this field, we'll click the top one. When you're ready to move forward, we'll press continue and you'll see here that the automation wizard will come up. What it's here to ask you is to select that field that we just created and then to select a time that we want to um, really trigger this field. And we'll select current time. We want that time that the person opens the email or interacts with the email to be the exact time that translates into this custom field into the contact profile. So we'll go ahead and press done. Here you can see that the automation is triggered anytime a contact reads an email or anytime they click a link on an email. You can really use any other start triggers that are important for your business, whether it be web pages visited, selecting then your website. You wanna make sure that it always says runs multiple times because you want that field to update every single time that last engaged date is triggered upon them doing said action. But what you'll see here now is this is going to translate to the contact custom field and you'll be able then to really take an opportunity to monitor your email activity and engagement, um, filter contacts based on those levels of engagement, build segments and conditions that really gives you an opportunity to really manage those unengaged email contacts as well. So a lot of different things that just this teeny tiny automation is helping you do and the majority of it's already created for you in a recipe. If you have any questions on this or really wanna spend some time diving into it together, please let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help. Talk to you next week.